Hi, and welcome to Fall Level 2, Week 11 and 12 Lesson Plans. These lessons run from November 4th to November 16th. First, we have our vault stations. At our first station, the students are going to be trying to run on one leg. So they'll stand on one leg, hopping forward and pushing back as far as they can on one foot. Our second station will be doing heel drives to handstand. The students will put their hands on the block, bouncing straight legs, trying to drive their heels all the way up to a handstand, keeping their arms lit and legs straight. Our third station will be working on our handstand flat back, so the students will run, do their proper hurdle, hit the board, and jump to a handstand, staying tight, landing on a flat back. Our last station will be on the 8-incher, and the students will be doing their cartwheel to belly. So the students will start in a lunge, kick to their cartwheel, finishing on their belly with their legs together and straight. Bar stations. Our first station will be doing our soul circle drill from the high block. So students will start with one foot on the bar, jump to two feet, swinging into the straddle. If they're ready, they may add the dismount. Our second station will be our spotted station. The students will be working on their chin up pullover again, then their back hip circle, if they're ready, they'll be adding their front hip circle with a spot. Then they can forward roll down to a chin up. They're working towards independence at this station. Our third station will also be on a low bar and we'll be working on our glide swing. So students will jump with straight arms, glide out and back, keeping a flat back, straight legs and feet together. Our last station will be on the floor bar and we'll be working on our soul circle drill again. So students will start at a push up. Jump to the bar, keeping straight arms, straight legs, falling back to the mat. Beam stations. Our first station will be on the side beam, and the students will be working on their T-touch. So they'll start in a lunge, lift their back leg, showing the letter T, touching the beam, landing back in their lunge, keeping a straight line from their fingertips to their toes. Our second station will be on the back beam with the resi mat under it. And the students will be working on their V-sit mount and an arabesque hold. So first they'll sit. Place their hands behind them, do their V-sit, bend one leg, weight transfer, stand one foot to the other. Then, keeping a straight bottom leg, they'll lift their back leg as high as they can into an arabesque, trying to keep their chest still and their arms out to the side. Our third station will be on the middle high beam, and the students will be working on their tuck jump. So they'll stand on the beam with one foot in front, arms by their ears. They'll swing and then jump, lifting their knees up to their chest, landing with one foot in front of the other and their arms by their ears. Our last station will be on the front high beam and we'll be going over the previous walks we've done. And then if they're ready, we'll introduce a new walk backwards in releve. So they'll stretch up into high releve, keeping straight legs, walking one foot behind the other, not letting their heels drop, going all the way down the beam without turning their head. Floor. On floor this week, we'll be doing lines instead of stations. So the students will be broken up into smaller groups to stand in line, and they'll be doing skills across the floor. First, we'll be doing our straight arm forward roll. So they'll start arms up, feet together, place their hands on the floor, pressing, keeping their elbows straight, rolling and standing, feet together, arms up. They'll do that all the way across. Then, second pass, we'll be working on our straight arm straddle roll, keeping straight arms, straight legs, pushing in the middle in our straddle to a stand. Then our next pass, we'll be doing our candlesticks. So arms by their ears, sit, roll back to a candle, toes to the ceiling, keeping their ears covered. Then they'll walk backwards and try it again. All the way. Then our next pass, we'll be working on backward roll to push up. The students can either do it with bent arms or straight arms. They'll roll back, landing in a push up with a tight flat body and straight arms at the end. Next, they'll be working on their handstand, so the students will start in a lunge, ears covered, show their T, kick up, feet together, then finish, landing in a lunge, ears covered. They'll walk across the floor, maintaining a straight body and a tight core. Our next pass will be working on our cartwheel step-in, so the students will start in a lunge, ears covered, then they'll cartwheel, landing one foot at a time, but bringing their second foot in and their arms up to their ears. Our last pass, the students will be working on their power hurdle to lunge, so they'll start feet together. They'll swing and jump forward into a lunge, keeping their arms by their ears. If they're ready, they may add their cartwheel. 
After we're done working on our skills, the students will work on their jumps.